Today, we remember those we lost, those who were injured, and all of those people still recovering from these evil, evil acts. So today is not about the defendant, but about the strength of the victims and the justice being sought for them and for our community as a whole. The Colorado Springs police chief summing up the mood of many after a somber and momentous day in court. Anderson Aldrich, the shooter in the Club Q massacre facing justice today, going to prison for life after killing and wounding patrons at a nightclub once hailed as a safe haven for the LGBTQIA community. Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Bart Bedsole. A huge day in court for victims and their loved ones in the Club Q mass shooting. The judge today sentencing Anderson Aldrich, who pleaded guilty, avoiding a full court trial. This morning, Aldrich was sentenced to five consecutive life sentences, one each, for Kelly Loving, Daniel Aston, Derek Rump, Ashley Poe, and Raymond Green Vance. Additional punishments for each case of attempted murder come up to 2,208 added years in prison. We have team coverage for you tonight as we break down all of the day's new developments. We'll go first to investigative reporter Sean Rice, who is covering the legal side of today's plea deal. Sean. And Barton Heather, today was really defined by what the victim said directly to Aldrich's face in court. Statements like, quote, I hope you never see the light of day again. Or Richard Fierro, the veteran who's credited with saving lives that night, calling Aldrich a, quote, domestic terrorist to his face. It was those feelings, anger, frustration, and very little justice, as Aldrich, Aldrich was handed down the harshest possible state penalty for their murderous actions. Kelly Loving, Daniel Ashton, Derek Rump, Ashley Paw, Raymond and Raymond Green Vance. Before getting handed the harshest sentence in El Paso County history, the judge named out the five people mass shooter Anderson Aldrich murdered. Seven months after the massacre at Club Q, Aldrich pleaded guilty to dozens of charges today. It means no prolonged court process that would have prevented the victims and their family members from starting that healing process. This plea agreement quite simply holds the defendant accountable to the maximum extent possible under the law in the state of Colorado. Many survivors inside the courtroom say the five consecutive life sentences don't feel like justice. Instead, their families want Aldrich to be put to death. But Colorado outlawed the death penalty in 2020, but it could happen if Aldrich is charged by the FBI. I'm uh, really glad that the federal government is still investigating this case, and I hope they uh, do press charges and I hope we get a death penalty out of this because even that is more than this monster deserves. Aldrich also had an opportunity to address the court and the victims in attendance today. They declined, electing instead for their attorney to tell the judge they are deeply remorseful and deeply sorry for their actions. I think that's a little crap. Pardon my mouth, but I had a conversation with him when he walked in the bar that night. I was nice as can be, made jokes, smiled, laughed, and what, like an hour later, I was getting shot by him with no regard for my life. Now, five families are forever with what the state of Colorado can offer as justice now served. To those five counts of murder in the first degree, how do you plead? Guilty. The federal government has not yet made a decision on if they'll be filing additional charges against Aldrich. District Attorney Michael Allen said today's guilty plea and Aldrich appearing to show remorse for their actions may save them from a death penalty sentence. Reporting live outside the El Paso County Courthouse, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates.